Okay, so this lecture is about how to set up Notepad on a Windows computer so that you can use it appropriately for HTML and CSS coding, web development. And we don't have to change much with Notepad. Unlike with TextEdit on a Mac, we don't have to worry about it inserting any special characters. So, for example, on TextEdit, we have to worry about uh, smart quotes coming in. Not smart, smart quotes, but smart quotes. Notice there that those quotation marks both look the same. It has not made an opening quote that's different from a closing quote. So we're good to go with that. We don't, we also don't have to worry about any strange hyphenation. It just leaves those double dashes as they are. So that's all great. So right out of the box, we can type our code correctly. No problem. And it's not going to cause any issues for us. Where the, the issues come in, um, is when we save it. So. Type as you will, but then when it's time to save, we've got to do a few things differently. So we come up, file, and we do save as, and we'll call this, oh, um, notepad. And the first thing here in this drop down menu, I don't want this to be a .txt document. If it does that, it'll insert .txt at the end. So I don't want that. So I'm going to choose instead all files, and then I'm going to give it my own extension, dot html notepad.html and then here this will often be set to ansi when you first reach it so you want to take that and make it over to utf8 instead and that's a, a character set that we'll talk about later in the course but you want to make sure that notepad is using that for you otherwise it could have some issues so that's what you got to do it's all when you're saving your file you got to make sure that it's all files a dot html and your character encoding is utf-8 and as long as you do that, you're good to go. So we'll just save it right there. And that's all we need to do. All right. See you in the next lecture.